Hi skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com and I want to welcome you to the first ever video edition of our weekly Top 5 Fridays news article. Um, pretty exciting. Uh, if you follow our blog, chances are you already know about Top 5 Fridays. Um, essentially every Friday my talented colleague Matt McGinnis puts together a a kind of wrap up of, of we, what we consider the top five most important stories from the week in in the ski industry. Um, we've been talking about doing video versions of it for a while and we figured what better time than right now to do our first one. Um, so recently we've had a lot of COVID-19 related news in the ski industry and that's how things are starting off this week as well. Um, pretty interesting article from the Colorado Sun they kind of tell the story of what they call the day that skiing closed in Colorado or the day that the ski season shut down in Colorado. Um, really interesting, goes through a lot of the different decision making processes, um, a lot of communication between governors and people like Rob Katz from Vail Resorts um, and kind of the, <clears throat> the initial decisions and then the, the wave of statewide and ultimately nationwide decisions that kind of followed starting in Colorado. Um, so very interesting article. I encourage you to take a look at that one. Um, the next next article we have is another COVID-19 related piece. Um, and this one's kind of kind of sad. Not that not that anything do, to do with COVID-19 isn't sad. Um, but there's currently hundreds of international employees that were working at ski resorts that are kind of in limbo right now. A um, couple different articles here, one from the Colorado Sun again, and then we've also got ABC News in Denver and NBC News um, reporting here in Vermont. So there's workers from Jay Peak, I imagine there are workers from Stowe, um, and then there's a lot of workers out in Colorado and likely around the rest of the country too that just weren't able to get on flights early enough to get home. Um, so kind of a, a tricky situation for those people. Fortunately, their employee housing has been extended through May in pretty much every situation that I could find. Um, so that's helping them a lot, but what they're struggling with more than anything is a lack of income. Um, and, and that's, you know, running out of money when you're in a foreign country is, is a difficult situation to be in. Um, so. Luckily, ski resorts and, and everyone that can is working as hard as they can to kind of coordinate these people to get back home um, because, as everyone knows, we all just want to be home and, and with our families right now. Um, next up is a more positive topic. Um, fortunately, that's it for COVID-19 related ski news this week. Um, the next we have the world's largest gondola is scheduled to open uh, at the Tornik Ski Resort in Serbia. Um, so really cool. Uh, it's five and a half miles long. Um, I'm going to struggle with pronunciation of this, but it starts in the center of the town of Zlatibor, um, and then it takes you right up to the slopes of the mountain. Um, so pretty cool. I used to live in Mammoth. It kind of reminds me of the, the Mammoth gondola that goes from the village area up to the mountain, or, or Breck. Or, there's a lot of places with, with kind of similar situations there's even been like jokes about running a gondola from the center of Stowe because we have some traffic issues recently. Um, if you're wondering, it's a 25 minute ride. Um, it looks like a pretty cool gondola, very panoramic. I think it fits 10 people. Um, so fun article to check out if you're interested in the world's biggest gondola. Um, and then finally we have Barrett's, Barrett's, Barrett's Observer, I believe is the, uh, is the reporter. Um, and there's been some early snow harvesting at the Levy Resort in Finland. Um, so they're doing it earlier than they have in the past, partly because they're closed. Um, you know, basically ski resorts around the world are, are kind of struggling with losses from closing early. So over in Finland, they're looking to make that up on the other end, so to speak. Um, so they're playing around with all different sorts of new techniques and different materials and different you know, different technology in snow farming um, with the plan of opening as soon as they can in the fall. Um, so they're looking at around an October opening date. Oftentimes the fifth piece of news for us is just a wrap up of edits of the week that we like to call. Um, that's what we have this week. Sometimes you'll see five full news topics and then 
edits as well. Um, but we actually have five different edits of the week this week, which is a lot. Um, so first up, guys from Real Skifi. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I never really have known for sure. Um, but they've got a, a cool new, if, if you've never seen those guys, they're incredibly creative and very fun to watch. Um, they've got a new video entitled Social Distancing. Um, Level 1 Productions gathered up a bunch of pro skiers to send a stay home and ski soon message. Um, kind of just trying to double down on, on getting people to stay home and, and stay safe and, and maintain social distancing. Um, then we've got Bales, a bale compilation, so a fall compilation from the Cold Smoke Freeride Comp. Uh, we've also got Oil and Water, which is a short film from Armada Skis. Um, I had time to watch about half of it this morning, and I'm really excited to, to finish that. Um, and then we also have a, a gentleman that got creative and did some indoor climbing at home um, to kind of satisfy his need to get out and rock climb. Um, hope you enjoy all those videos. In addition to that, back on Tuesday this week, we released an article um, that basically just listed 10 different ski movies that we recommended as ways to kind of kill the time um, as your home self-distancing or quarantining or, or whatever the case. Um, so that's it. That was the first ever top five video. Uh, I think it went okay, but I have zero experience as a news reporter. Uh, so let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any suggestions. Let us know stuff you want to see. Um, in my mind, I'm thinking that down the road we'll be able to kind of do some interviews tacked onto these, especially once we're back in our studio and not just sitting here in my basement. Um, so yeah, let us know if you have any ideas. Let us know what you might want to see in these Top 5 Fridays videos, um, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.